After running, save your GPX file or your Garmin file or your Strava file. That way you can use it using RouteNet. Go to routegadget.net. Once there, you'll see a web page that looks like this. These two screens are the main things you're going to interact with. One of which you'll drag your, drag your map file into, the other your GPX file. Let's start. Pull down menu, let's select OSM. That way we can see the whole world. Zoom out to your area. Find the place you're looking for. Zoom in. This is our area here. Now, what we're going to do is we are going to take our files. Here's our image. Drop the image onto the screen. We have controls now to georectify it. You can drag it around and you can rotate it using the corners. Okay, once you have the map the way you want it, select the icon here. It'll turn off everything on your screen. Now, all you have to do is bring in your GPX file. I have a, quite a few of them. I will bring in one of multiple GPX files. First, I'll start with this one. I will drag and drop it into the white box. It shows up there. I can repeat for other GPX files. Drag and drop it. And I'll put three in there for our purposes. Now all three show up on the screen. In this case, everybody went to a different location. It's kind of a scoro, so you're not going to glean a lot. But if it was a traditional orienteering race, you'd see everybody going in order and racing together. You can turn off the background map if you want by doing this. And you can start the race by pressing the play button or the other controls. That's pretty much the most of it. Thank you.